Hello friends, I am Rajini Shavshantran. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in the previous video, we have learned about the projection of lines which are parallel to both and we have completed an exercise related to projection of lines in both HP and HP. Today we are going to discuss another exercise. The problem you can see in your screen right now. A line CD is parallel to both HP and VP. The point C is 40 mm below HP and the point D is 35 mm behind VP. If the distance between the projectors of C and D is 65 mm, draw the projections of the line CD and obtain its true length. See, this is the problem. So we can read the question again. A line CD is parallel to both HP and VP. So the line CD is parallel to both HP and parallel, parallel to both HP and VP. The point C is 40 mm below HP. The point C is 40 mm below HP and the point D is 35 mm behind VP. Now, the distance between the projectors of C and D. What do you mean by the term distance between the projectors of C and D? See, the last question we have obtained this is x y line we have obtained a projection like this remember this is a dash a this was b dash b see this line is called the projector through a and this line is known as the projector through b projector through a and the projector through b here in this question the distance between the projectors through c and d is given as 65 so you can indicate it as Projector through C and D. The distance between the projector through C and D is 65. See, this is the data. These are the data given in the question. So, what will be the first step? The first step will be drawing the xy line. So, the xy line is with quarters. Now, <coughs> the line C and D is parallel to both HP and UP. The point C is 40 mm below HP. So, select a point at a distance of 40 mm below HP. So below x line and you mark it as c dash. The other point c about c is not given. So we can draw a line through c dash and that line will be the projector through c. Now it is given d is given there is 35 mm behind. How can you obtain d? It is 35 mm behind. 35 mm behind means that above x line at a distance of 35 mm and name it as d. But where we will take d? See, only given that D is 35 mm behind, which means we can take 35 here, we can take 35 from here, we can take 35 from here. So, where will we take the point D? For that purpose, this is given. This means the distance between the projector through C and the projector through D is 65. So, with the help of this value or this data, we can obtain the projector through D. So, at a distance of 65 mm from the projector through C, we can draw another line. So, that, that line will be the projector drawn through D, provided this distance is 65 mm. See, this distance is 65 mm. Now, in that line, D is given that 35 mm behind. 35 mm behind means above xy line and you mark it as D. So this is D, this is C dash, this is utilized, this data is utilized, this data is also being utilized. So what is the remaining one? The remaining one is the line CD is parallel to both HP and VP. So in the previous video, from the previous video, we have learned that when a line is parallel to both HP and VP, both the projections will be parallel to XY and both the projections will have the true length. Right? So both the projections will be parallel to x-y line and both the projections will have the true length. But we don't have the true length, but we know that both the projections, both the projections means the projections C dash, D dash and C D must be a line parallel to x-y. We know C dash, we know D. So how can we draw a line which is parallel to x-y line? This is the only method of drawing the line C dash, D dash, right? Then only this line will be parallel to x-y line. This is the only method of drawing the line CD. Then only 
become parallel to x ray so so now we have obtained the projection of the line cd see this cd is the projection top view of the line cd this c dash d dash is the front view of the line c and we know that when a line is parallel to both the spin vp both the projections will show true length so which means this distance is 65 so we have obtained the true length of the line as 65 we can dimension this distance as 40 I know this distance as 10. I hope all of you have understood this question. From this value, we can take. It is the uh, it is asked that what is the true length of the line CD? So the true length of the line CD is equal to 65. Make that in a box so that this is our axis. So this is CD, this is C dash D dash, and the dimension is also complete. So I hope all of you have understood this question. In the next video, we will be studying projection of lines perpendicular to one of the reference planes and parallel to the other. So we can see in the next video. Thank you.